back to this Super Zeros DC Universe Online Let's Play. You're with Sambo and joining us today, an old favourite is none other than a Blaze Purple, surrounded here by a crazy bunch of Super Zeros. Look at this turnout here. Can't believe it. We'll get to say hello to all of them individually in the, the game, but I can also see they're all here in the Mumble server, and I think that means it's time for some ear bleeding activity from the mighty super zeros how about we get a big hello from them are you there mighty super zeros hello hello, hello. hello. Oh, my lord look at that my mumble has lit up and my apologies to anyone who lost their hearing after all of that do you know one person i can see in here amongst this craziness is none other than our founding father if you like the guy that i like to call dad is none other than that panda eating tiger himself Kazin, g'day mate. Hello, how are you? I'm very well. My god, there's a there's all sorts of craziness going on around here. It's been a while since we've been on the Super Zeros. We've been on the villains for a while. It's good to be back, isn't it, Kazin? Yes, yes. Yeah, it was three straight episodes on villains. I reckon that means the villains can't complain. There's no complaining about not getting any airtime. It was great fun being on there, but I must say it's great to be back here on Blaze Purple and to see the mighty Super Zeros. And we've got all sorts of special people that have returned after a bit of a break, so I can't wait to say hello to them. But Kazin, we've got something very special lined up today, I believe, because uh, Chilma, who can't be with us here because he's at work, is that right, Kazin? I think he's working. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, he's g'day, He's a bartender, Chul so he works but nice. Wow. Now, a big shout out to you, of course, Chilma, if you're watching this show, because without you, we wouldn't have these events. Chilma, of course, writes his big backstory and creates these events week in and week out, and so we thank you for that. Because then, what's he lined up for us today? Uh, today, uh, we're going to be doing the Coast City Alert, which is a T3 uh -oh, alert. Uh-oh, uh -oh, wait a minute. T3? Doesn't that mean it's going to be difficult? For you, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I see that you paused there for a moment and then thought, oh, bugger it, no, it is going to be difficult for Sam. I, you know, I can see someone else in the chat and I can also see them here in game because they stick out like a sore thumb. I'm going to ask them about what my odds are today in a tier three. And that would be somebody that you guys would probably know, that lovely, lovely lady, the person who's always nice to me, who never complains about, oh, she's already taken a bow. She knows who I'm talking about. It's that bright pink blight here, right in the middle of the watchtower. There's none other than Shiveria Lightheart. Hello to you, Shiv. Hello, Sambo. How did you know I was talking about you? Uh, when you said sore thumb, I just kind of assumed, because I'm in your best favorite color in the whole wide world. <laughs> My pink <laughs> right over. Who's that laughing? Who's that laughing in the background? You're not allowed to bring pink over here. Come on. <laughs> DC Universe Online, my color here is all about purple. How dare you try and soil it here with pink? And by the way, how long have you been playing DCUO for? Uh, about a couple of days. Couple of days, and you're already bright pink. Right. Thanks mm -hmm. very much for that. Good to have you over here. Can I get a bit of a synopsis? I mean, what do you think of the game so far? Love it? Hate it? Loathe it? What do you reckon? Uh, I'm in between at the moment. Right now, I'm really in the Final Fantasy mode at the moment. So. Of course, of course you are. Of course, being part of Distant World, like many of these guys here are. That's okay because it's understandable. There's a big beta going on at the moment, but it's good to see you and and your much better half, who I can see in the chat here, which would be none other than Amadeus Lightheart. G'day, Amadeus. Hello, and I must say she's also pink in Final Fantasy. You just can't get rid of it. Yeah, you can't get rid of the pink. And I can see you. I'll be zooming in right now on you. You are not going down the pink route, I can see. You've gone for a nice sort of aqua colour there. Any reason behind that outfit? Makes me look innocent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can tell that the mighty Super Zeros agree with you there. I think that's an agreement. Let's get some opinions here. I think the first one I need to ask is none other than my future wife to be. Must be Star Lynn. Get a star. It's still no. Oh, it's still no. Damn it, she's Lynn. I know Shiveria. How come it worked for you, but it doesn't work for me? How come you can get a partner in game and I can't? It's not fair. What have you got that I haven't? Seriously. I mean, um, where to begin? <laughs> oh, where to begin? I actually won't answer that. Do not answer that while. question. Do not answer that question. I was going to say, the things that you ogled in Guild Wars 2 last time, That's for true. one thing. That's true. You mean when I made an utter boob out of myself? When I yep. really, really didn't have myself across the situation. I wasn't abreast of it. Yeah, I think that's what we're talking about over there. Maybe you guys should go 
and watch <laughs> Guild Wars 2 for an answer to that one. Stalin, how have you been? Are you hard at work at the moment? You have a very demanding job, I know that for a fact. I'm on vacation, which I always take around my birthday. No, no, you're on vacation. Okay, really, so does that mean it is your birthday coming up or have I missed it? In a couple of days couple of days all right did you get that guys it's Stalin's birthday in a couple of days time so that means we've got to organize a prezi some kind of present I'm well, gonna offer Sambo, you well, yeah shouldn't you sing happy birthday to her now you know what that's a very good idea I think we might have yeah. to have a vote on this because of course by the time we film <laughs> our next episode we will have missed your birthday Stalin I think you can thank Shiveria or other things uh, for this because well, yeah now I can also hear before we do do this completely in agreement I can hear you did yes. it for me you'll do it for her. that's right because that is none other than Gur and we haven't seen you for a very long time welcome you crazy Dutchman so do you reckon that we should also sing a happy birthday for Stalin do you think it's only fair well, it's only fair. I mean, you can't just have a, a, a sing happy birthday only for me and not for the other one. Uh, they might get jealous. I think you'd get very <laughs> jealous, wouldn't you, Stalin? What do you reckon, Fair Blitz, who I haven't seen for a very long time because I think you've been very busy with study and stuff. Is that right? Welcome back, sir. Yes, I have. And thank you very much. Now, what do you think about... I mean, look, it's your first day back after a bit of a long break. What do you reckon? I mean, the guys have gone quiet here. You can see they've exhausted all their superpowers. I think we need to break up the monotony by singing Happy birthday to Stalin. I mean, do you have any objection to that, Fair Blitz? Well, I'm fairly certain the large crowd would slowly dissipate. <laughs> I think we'll drive them away. I can see Fair Blitz there has got the mighty D20 up in the background there, so it's good to have you back. In fact, you know what? We just want to say a quick hello to everyone that's joining us here before we do join in with a hearty celebration of Stalin's birthday. And I wonder if it's rude to ask a lady how old she is. I think she's going to be... Mm, about 21. 20, she sounds about 21. 21 is my guess. Yeah, I reckon. I'm with you there, Kazin. So there we are. All right, look, I do want to say hello. We've already said hello to Armadeus and the Mumbles. We've said hello to uh, somebody else here in the past, and not today. That is someone who is half naked. And I'm going to give, let's see, who can I ask here? I'm going to give somebody a couple of guesses. If I said there's somebody in the league and they're half naked, who would that be? Lady Solara, I can see you in the chat there. Are you there? Hey, good to see you, and uh, I happen to know that you're on a character at the moment that is not going to be one of my favourites. That's not you in the... Is that you in the background there with that hideous colour, Neon Leon? Is that you? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Shiv, Shiv, can you see a character in the background here? They are bright pink. Oh my oh, god. Oh, so that's who that is. Well, high five, Lady Solara. No! No, you guys are going to start a revolution. That is terrible. Oh, my God. Anyway, good to see you, lady. If I said to you, who in our league is completely stark bonkers naked, who would you automatically think of? Oh, natural. Oh, natural. Absolutely. And I can see them in the chat there. I wonder if they're on voice chat. Oh, natural. Are you there? He's muted, but he is in the chat. Oh, he's in the chat room. Do you know what? If you're watching the show, our natural, I haven't seen you for such a long Well, when I say that, I say it very carefully when I say we haven't seen you before, because we've pretty much seen all that you've got to offer but we haven't seen you in the show for a long time it's good to see you there bvs hello to you sir how are you i'm good and you very very well now i think you're on your character dragana today is that right yes that is correct now i can see that you're in a group with me so firstly my commiserations i can see you up the back there does that mean that you're coming along with me to the coast city alert yes it is oh you're a very brave man, and I apologise up front, but thank you very much. Do you know what? Someone else I can see in here in the group, aside from our natural, is X. Good to see you, X. Hello. How are you doing? Very well. Don't tell me you're coming along in the alert as well. Well, I'm the shield for this for this one, so you, you have a better than average chance of getting through it. That's true, actually. I should be very, very grateful for that, but uh, I apologise up front. That's all I'm going to say, but thank you very much for protecting the group and for, I don't know, it's a bit of a gamble coming along with me. How many times do you think I will die, X? Because you're the tank. You should know. Well, this one actually could get messy due to just the sheer number of red lanterns in one portion of it. So it's possible. So I'm going to say maybe one. Oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, if you're saying even one, that's bad news. I'm going to go for ten. Oh, dear. Wish us luck, folks. I can see Kappa 187. Oh, Kazin. Kazin, you of little faith. Kappa 187, big hello to you. Hey, how you doing, Sam? Very well. Are you here with us in game? I'm pretty much right next to you, Selena Spellhard, oh. sporting her, her summer look for the season. Oh, hang on, let me, I keep getting knocked over because of course we've got our favourite gorillas throwing barrels back. 
And hang on, where, where did you go? Oh, there you are. Oh, oh, good lord. You're purple. Thank you. Now, Shaveria and lady, you need to take a leaf out of Kappa's books here. See that lovely color? Yeah, standing right next to you there, Shiv. See that color? It's called purple. And that is a well, real Sambo, color. Well, Sambo, this season, purple is a new pink. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, speaking of purple, I got something for you, Sambo. Oh, because then, wait, wait a minute, a purple eye? You're going to punch me in the face? Pur yeah, purple yeah, bruise? that's it. <laughs> Hang on, where did Kazin go? Let me see if I can... Oh, there we go. Kazin wants to trade with you. Uh-oh, this can only be bad, surely. Let's let's hit OK with him. On the... Oh, oh my lord, do you know what this... Oh, and I keep getting pushed out of the way there. I hope I can still trade, because I can't move. I am getting myself... Thank you, Kazin. That is awesome. In fact, I'm not even going to tell you guys what it is. I'm just going to instead wear it. That is incredible. Kazin, I know for a fact that they cost a lot of money, unless things have changed, right? No, I had plenty. I had extras, so I didn't pay anything for it. Oh, thank you so, so much. And, of course, this is a very fitting color, so Shiv's going to love this one. Now, let me equip that, and there we go. And there you go. Look, Look at that. Nice, my Ooh. friend. You are no longer blaze purple. You are blazing purple, Blazing my purple. Absolutely. Thank you, Kappa187. In fact, maybe we need to do a name change. Blazing purple. Kiss in. Thank you so very much. In fact, look at this. We've got a whole bunch of folk who are sporting their purple aura. In fact, right up the top there, I can see one Zazap. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm blazing. I am absolutely blazing. I am so <laughs> lucky. This is amazing. Now I match you. That's, now, how long have you had your purple aura for? It just dropped today on another character in a lockbox. No way. That is yep. amazing. Okay. Fate is in... The, you know what? You, today, you should go buy a lottery ticket. That's what I think. Definitely luck is on your side. Good to see you. It's a zap. And I think... Are you sporting... You've got... Looks like you've got purple on, but I think that's the aura. That's okay. Purple auras, Shiv, make everything look awesome. Just saying. And there's Master Kev, also sporting a purple aura. Good to see you. Great fashion choice there. Shiv, have you got yourself a purple aura? Because, I mean, let's face it, it's far superior to pink. I think you need one. Yeah, but I don't know where to get one. <gasps> Oh my lord! Okay, we're going to have to ask a expert, perhaps. Uh, let me see, who's an expert in all things... Well, Kazin. Can you help out Shiv? Where would one get a purple aura from, apart from a Kazin? I, I could probably get you one, but they, they are, they're a, a drop in the uh, Promethean lockbox. There's, there's a chance to get one in there, along with rare styles also. There we go. So Promethean lock boxes. Now, Zazap, if Shiveria had no clue what a Promethean lock box is, how would you best describe it to her? Um, for me, a pain to get. They hardly yeah. ever drop for me. <laughs> that is definitely one way of describing them. Um, let's let's put someone else on the spot as well. Good answer. I have had them drop from the regular little villains or civilians that you can kill, though. Right, yes, good point there. Fair Blitz, Fair Blitz, apart from yep. the mighty D20, we know you're also a mine of good information. What else, what other advice could you give Shiv if she's trying to hunt down Promethean lockboxes? Um, find areas that have lots and lots of creatures in it, like uh, I seem to remember the sort of starting Brainiac areas have a lot of things you can easily kill quickly. There you go. There you go. That's one. So, Shiv, it's a random drop, basically. And once you get into a box, it's a random drop whether you get an aura in there or not. Now, I've had zero luck not wanting to put you off, but just saying. Now, do you know well, what? I Someone... did get a lot box earlier. Oh, did you? You've already got one. Oh, my Lord. Well, mm -hmm. congratulations. It took, took me weeks before I got one. Do you know what? I can see a couple of folks around here that I'd like to say hello to. And Gerb, we were talking to you before. That's your character there, Static Blur. Is that right? That's correct. All right, good to see. Any story behind this character? And I think because it's blue, mm. we, we can tell it's you, of course, because you are always yeah. blue. Uh, but uh, so what power set are you? You must be, is it speed? And No, sorry, the uh, movement. The movement must be. Yeah, my movement is speed. As you can see. Oh, yes, that's right. And are you electricity for your power set? Yes, that's yeah, correct. Yeah, good name. Good, good looking character there, by the way. Um, good to see you. I can see Doctor Sun here. Doc, hi, Doc. And what? What on earth are you? How, what is that you've got on? You're all blue and swirly. Explain yourself. Well, this is the uh, full uh, Lantern War suit set that you can buy from the uh, vendors uh, for the event. Oh, I see. Right, of course. Looks awesome. Looks really cool with that armor that you've got on there. I am very. Do you know what? I've not got any armor that moves or anything like that of course even if i did you guys would never see it because i'm always wearing the same clothes hi wing i saw you coming down there hey by the way wing you're oh you have you've got 
that's Starlin. And don't think, by the way, we've forgotten about your birthday song. We're going to do that before we head into the <laughs> into the instance. But I can see you've got yourself a blue aura. How long have you had that for? I've had it for a while now. I just haven't been wearing it recently. Ah, okay. And your character outfit is looking great as always. I love those wings. I've got a pair of those as well. Do you know what? I'm going down the list here, and underneath Gerb Camp, I can see a name in the mumble that I'm not accustomed to seeing here in the Mighty Super Zeros. Now, I'm definitely accustomed to seeing them over in the land where the evil Shiv and Armadeus live, and that would be none other than Guild Wars 2. But, uh, Shiveria, have you brought over a very special friend from Guild Wars 2 by chance. Friend? Oh. <laughs> oh, I brought the wrong person. I meant to bring Peter. Uh, <laughs> well, I suppose we can make do with a guy. I think I know exactly who you're talking about. That would be somebody who has very recently, hmm, let's see, been dabbling in fashion. Somebody who I know is always nice to me. I can count on them being nice to me. Let's hope it doesn't change here in DC Universe Online. Now, let me see if I can find their character first because I think they were trying to hide before and they're doing a very good job of it. I know they're a very small character. Where did they go? Shiv, can you help me here? Can you see that? Oh, there they go. They're hiding behind... They're hiding behind Lady Solara. It'll be none other than Dante Villain, which is my good friend, a supporter of our show from the very, very beginning. Jai452, you can't hide from me. Hello, Jai. Oh, you found me. I did. I found you indeed. Welcome to the Mighty Super Zeros and welcome to DC Universe Online. How long have you been playing for? An absolute truth, Sambo. I have only been playing for a few hours. A few hours? Less hey, guys, than about two. She's fresh meat. She's fresh meat, so make sure you go easy on her. <laughs> Can I get? Can I get an opinion? Oh no! I've gone and made her cry now. I've made her cry. Look, first things first, Jai. This is one of the greatest communities you will ever find. The Super Zeros, of course, are the oldest out of all our Sambo NZ communities. In fact, they're over two and a half years old now. So these guys are fantastic, and you're going to love being here. Great bunch of folk. But can I get an opinion from you? Firstly, what do you think of the game after a couple of hours of playing? I actually really quite enjoy it. Um, it is kind of difficult though to just move your camera around, but that's yeah. only a small thing. Yes, and everyone that comes from other MMOs has the same complaint, I'll call it, but honestly, you get used to it after about you know a couple of hours, it just becomes second nature, honestly. So stick with it. But surely you, of all people, must really love and appreciate the character customization, not only at the creation of your character, but throughout the game. You know you can change your outfit at any time you like, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have been watching your videos on DCU for about two years now, sample, so... Right, so you yep. know. And of course, I am not blazing the trail there, pardon the pun, because I keep the same outfit week in and week out. But I mean, the great thing is, is that once you collect a style, it's yours. And you being such of a fashionista, you must love that. Surely you wish that every other MMO had this function. Of course I do. Of course you do. You know what? It's great to have you here, Jai, and we look forward to seeing you in future episodes as well. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the game and enjoy this fantastic community here. In fact, this is the community that started it all, so you're amongst fine folk here. Speaking of fine folk, next down on the list is Saita, the last vampire. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Do I get a good day? I can see you right there. In fact, I'm standing right next to you. Good day. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm, look, my good camera. Day. Good day. My camera has unfortunately zoomed in on your two greatest assets as well. I think you better explain your outfit today. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> dear, oh, my. What, what is this out? What is that top that you're wearing, just in case Shaveria wants to get something similar? Uh, the top, I can't remember the name of it. It's just um, with the latest release of the new styles that are floating around, on DCUO nowadays, I decided to go with something with a little more modern day, you know, more like military style. I also had a change in weapon. Yeah, oh, so I had to go yeah. with that. Yeah, there you go. You want to know the top name? Yeah, what is the top name? It's Reverse Slimline. Reverse there Slimline. You there you go, Shiv. That's something that's probably going to be up your... Oh, Amadeus. Are you trying to say I'm fat, Sambo? No. I need a slimline, really? No, 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 no. You will see when you have a look. If you have a close look at uh, Seat to the Last... Well, actually, no, you probably shouldn't have a close look at Seat to the Last Vampire. But uh, <laughs> we'll just say that she's got a couple of assets as well. There you go. You can see that 
bright pink abomination. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I see how it is. You want to ogle them again. No, right. no yeah. Amadeus, that's not yeah. what I meant. I'm just suggesting mm -hmm. that perhaps Shiv, that might, might, <laughs> that might suit her style. Although she's all covered up in this game. Actually, you better tell us quickly, Shiv. Is that outfit... Is that matching? Like, what are your... It looks like it's matching, but you've, is that the Harley's helmet that you've got on there? Yep, it just dropped today. Oh, congratulations. And I can also see you've got yourself a tail. So does that mean you're a cat person? I'm a wolf. Oh, you are. Okay, very cool. And oh, you, so I can swing it around by it. <laughs> you swing it <laughs> in the in the room. I would as well. Well, there we are. And just very quickly, do you want to tell us what power set did you go with? I went with... Uh telekinesis yep it's and control mental. that's all i know control and what about your movement are you flying or are you super speed how do you get around the world oh you're flying nice. well done and also i want to ask you jai if you know there you go there's dante what's your power set and what's your movement type well i think i should show you yes go on tell you. demonstrate i can see you right there there we are oh there it is yep okay and what about your, are you fly, yes, you're flying as well. See, all the smart people use flying and I've just completely insulted two thirds of the game, whoops. I honestly think, <laughs> honestly, everyone says to me, oh Sambo, what should I go as for a movement speed? I personally always love flying, although one of my characters, I think I went super speed and I just can't control. Look, flying is for silly people like me who can't control the other ones. That's about what it boils down to. You can also see a couple of yeah. other folk here. Super who, speed is for skilled people. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's definitely not me. And definitely acrobatics not. is just fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. But, but you still have to be smart to be able to control them. Look, I can see Kazin there. And of course, Kazin is looking fine with their Greco Roman outfit, as always. Bright yellow. I've never seen a yellow aura before. Or is that gold, Kazin? What color it's is it? Golden. It's golden. Wow. Is that anything special? Or is it just no, it's just another aura. There's, there's about five different ones. Right, okay. Um, yeah, purple, gold, red, red light blue, blue, dark light blue. blue. Red, white. So many of them. And uh, by the way, Shiv and Jai and Armadais all being new to the game there. Good luck in, in getting one of those as well. Like I say, it took me a very long time. I can see a whole uh, bunch actually, of Actually, uh, Sambo, I've been playing a lot longer than you think. I was actually on the PS3 version. Oh, were you? Oh, there you go. Well, welcome to the PC land. Are you still playing with a controller on the PC or are you using a mouse of and keyboard? Oh, okay, there you go. No, I can't use mouse and keyboard. So. Yeah, I was going to say that because I know a lot of folk who come from the controller version can't, but it's great that you can plug in like an Xbox controller or something like that. So it's very, very cool that it supports that you can see here too as we wander around there's a lot of folk here who are not in the mud we can see Startera shock a big hello to you there I can see cousin C she Fu Hisia I hope I've said that correctly there uh, who else yeah. is around here oh, who, oh who's that Shifu oh Dragon Knight my apologies mate good to see you there what's your movement set and power set I am flight and I am quantum oh quantum you know what I'm loving the quantum are you I love it. It is a very good control power. Yeah, it's fantastic. I love that. Look at that. The spell effects going off there. Good to see you. Thanks for coming along. You can also see Fire Chest and Verde Integra. Hello to you. Static Blur, of course, is Gur over in the background there. I think we've said hello to everyone else as well. Oh, who's that? That is Mental Blaze 2. And do you know what? Mental Blaze. Regina J. Lacerta, by the way, would absolutely love your outfit because you're looking very rangerish. If you ask me, is that who is Mental Blaze 2? Are they in Mumble? They're in Mumble. Yeah, Cameron 1000. Oh, it's Cameron. G'day, mate. Look, Regina J. Lacerta from our Guild War series, and Shiv and Jai will be able to back me up here. Would absolutely love your outfit because it's all green and huntery, and you've got some crazy headgear on. What is that crazy headgear that you've got? Um, the Everson horns. Ah, oh, the horns. Okay, and where do you get them from? Do you remember? Um, finishing a briefing. Finishing a briefing. Oh, so that's even in within my reach. Even I can do that. Looks great. And uh, look, your legs have got some. I think you need to get a ointment because your legs have got some weird rash on them, like some green glowy rash. Or hang on, hang on. Is that armor? Is that special armor that you've got on your feet? Yes. Wow. What is that? <laughs> that's so Kazin, Will I ever be able to get feet like that? Uh, not sure. Doubt it. It's probably something that's really high tier. Oh, by the way, Kazin, speaking of which, before we head on into our alert very, very shortly, what tier is the game up to? Because people keep asking me, and as if I know, I know nothing. I know that we're going to be running a tier 3 alert today, but what tier can you run in the game? 
It's up to T5 right now. T5. My how times have changed. Now, when nature, I can see you there, and thank goodness you're still here, because just in case you thought you were going to get away with this, I'm going to come and stand next to you. There we go. It is your birthday in a couple of days' time. Is that correct? Yes or no? Yes, and I'm apologizing to everybody now about the thing that's going to happen. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. People look forward to this. The only reason people subscribe to my channel is the slim hope, right, Shiv, that I'm going to sing happy birthday. Because let's face it, it's a highlight for everybody involved. Would you agree with that, Shiv? Define highlight. You mean the one <laughs> yeah. thing we dread? Then one thing yeah. We dread. Oh, honey, do you know what? Someone else. thing we can laugh at. Well, no, oh, it's, it's definitely yeah. something that stays with you for the rest of the year. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Your whole that life. Absolutely yeah. correct. In fact, you know what? Someone else I can see joining us at the last minute would be 21 November on their character Mind Blaster. G'day, mate. How are you? Hi, Sambo. Doing good. Do you know what? You've joined us at exactly the right time, and I hope you're going to join in because it is none other than Starlin's birthday in a couple of days. And were, Mind Blaster, you know you gonna... what that means, right? Were you going to sing happy birthday? Yeah, of course. Of course. I'll, uh, hope you... I'll be right back. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're allowed to go. You're here now. <laughs> not only do you have to endure it, but you have to, I mean, not endure it. Embrace it is the word I meant. Uh, you have to join in as well. So <clears throat> I think, folks, it's that time before we head on into the alert. But but before we do sing here, Kazin, are you able to give us a brief, very brief rundown? Where is this alert? How does somebody get it? What's it all about? It's a T3 alert. It's part of the uh, Fight for the Light DLC pack. Oh, so you need that, do you? Uh, it, it, it happens in Coast City, which is where Hal Jordan is from. Oh, there you go. All right, so and, you, uh, do... you just queue for it on your own duty menu. But, but you definitely need the DLC or you can't run it. Is that correct? Cor correct. correct. Okay, so there you go, folks. If you're wondering where it is in your on-duty menu, make sure you've got the DLC. But I'm sure you have already. All right, folks, this is it. I think we need to gather around over by me. If you can see where I am, I'm standing next to the birthday girl herself. Now, even though she's on her character Wing Nature, I must say, folks, when we're singing the song, please use Starlin, not Wing Nature. And that way it'll resonate with her and probably resonate and break all glass in the room and all the rest of it. So a warning, um, folks, yeah. if you're watching the video from home, you may wish to just adjust your volume a little bit. But I think, folks, mighty super zeros, we need to warm up our vocal cords. And you know how that goes. So let's do that right now. <coughs> me, 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 me. Look and listen to that. She, I can, can hear. Can I just put a warning out there, Sambo, for everybody <laughs> and every dog owner to actually get the dog out of the room here? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a wise move. All right. <clears throat> Are everybody's vocal cords limbered up? I think so. Sounded pretty good to me. La, 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 la. All right. Starlin, this is especially for you. I'd like to say sorry up front is actually really what I want to say. But a big happy <laughs> birthday to you. And here we go. I'm going to lead it off. We're going to count down. Happy birthday. Here we are. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Oh, my Lord. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! There you go, folks. That was it. A very special event. Uh, Stalin, are you still with us? I'm crying in pain. She's crying. She's so happy. She's crying. There we go, folks. I think it's time for us definitely now to make noise. Wish Stalin a happy, happy birthday for, what, two days' time, is it? When is it exactly? Go on, let us know. Is it a couple of days? Actually, it's the 16th. I'll be 38. 16th, 38 years young. Congratulations to you, and I hope you enjoy your day, and I hope you enjoyed the special celebration here from the Mighty Super Zeros. Folks, we'll be right back very, very shortly shortly with our event and then after that we'll come back and say hello to whoever is left online whoever we didn't kill off from that singing but once again happy birthday Stalin <laughs> and we'll see you guys back in just a moment and welcome back folks here we are in ouch what's this some uh, Shiberia why are you shooting me in the head that is not very polite <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it wasn't very polite before the show that you, uh, oh, I don't know. I you have me. no idea what you're talking about. I am always lovely to you, aren't I, Armad? Armadeus, ouch! You're going to turn me into barbecue. Well, I'm get, getting a nice tan from you there. Armadeus, you'll back me up. I was nice to Shiv before we started filming, wasn't I? About as nice as a nadu in the forest. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, I don't know what it's like having these guys in the game. You can see Kazin in the background there, standing next to our natural, who has, I think, Kazin. Our natural definitely has a lot more clothes on than normal, which is saying something. What do you reckon? Yep, that's more than usually has. Yeah, good lord. It's just a floaty, but that's <laughs> something. <laughs> it's something covering up. Yeah, no shame there. Covering up the private parts, I think. All right, so you can see I'm here in a covering group. Covering up his belly button. His belly it. button. Well, it's a private part. I'm here in a group <laughs> with X, with our natural, speaking of which, and Dragana. And Kazin, once again, remind us, this is an alert that I believe we have to have some DLC for. Is that correct? Yes, the Fight for the Light DLC. Fight for the Light DLC. And, of course, it's one of my favorite DLC packs. Let's hit Y here. We're going to go into our on-duty menu and... Tell me, Kazin, how many players is this one? It's an alert, so it's four player. Four player, there we go, and you can see, here we go, alerts tier one, alerts tier two, and oh my god, there it is, Coast City alert tier three. Kazin, if you got rocks in your head, do you really think I'm going to survive a tier three alert? Are you nuts? Well, you won't, but the rest of the three will get through, okay? <laughs> Thanks again for the vote of confidence. Let's have a read of this, folks. The emotional spectrum is out of balance. Well, that's kind of what it's like when you deal with Shiv. Uh, the emotional spectrum is out of balance because she makes me so unbalanced. And the lantern core are losing control. Oh, now, Shiv, I'm going to test your general knowledge here. Do you know who the lantern core are? No clue. No clue. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. What about you, Jai? Oh, yeah. Jai, do you know? I do, I do, I do. Oh, okay. You can either have Hal Jordan. Yes. Who is the first Green Lantern of Earth. Or, to be more precise, you could have had Abon Sur, whose oh. power ring went to Green Lantern, i.e. Hal oh. Jordan. My God. If you God. don't like Hal Jordan, you could have Kyle Rayner. Or very more recently, you could have had, you could have had, um, I think it's John Stewart. Oh, yes. My lord, yes, you're right. Got, John you know Stewart, what? Guy Gardner. So hang on, you Guy are Gardner. a DC Universe no, expert. Not hey, Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner, Zazap, and Mind Blaster, who we know are two folks who are right into the DC law. Zazap, Jai. what do you reckon? Did Jai get 10 points out of 10 for that or not? Yeah, 10 points out of 10. 10 out of 10, Jai. Not bad. What about you, Mind Blaster? What do you reckon out of 10? Uh, 8 out of 10. Didn't know Guy Gardner. And yes. I'd like to know what sector uh, is the. Earth in. Oh, oh gosh. 27, 28 or something like that. I thought it was 2214. You guys, oh, you, one four. you guys, seriously, it's like walking Wikipedia's with you lot. Jai, Jai, are you impressed with yes. their knowledge? Only some more at the moment. Oh, oh, there we go. I think a challenge. I has do been have issued. a question. Where, where's that, where's that kick button? Where's the kick button? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I do have a question, question, question for Jai, though. Is, can you name the three councillors of the lan of the uh, Lantern Corps? Oh my lord! That would be the I Scarecrow, cannot. Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that's right because it's the Wizard of Oz. Sounds good to me. I, Kazin, can you believe how much knowledge these guys have? It's insane. Do, are you a DC Universe buff like these guys? Yeah, to some degree. I have twenty two thousand. Or 14,000 comics, so oh I read a lot. Oh my lord, wow! Do you know what? I think we're gonna have to do an episode one day just on the actual DC universe itself rather than the game because it's very interesting. We've obviously got a lot of passionate folk there. Good to have you along, by the way, Jai. I didn't know you were such a DC nut. That is fantastic. Congratulations. Uh, let me see. The emotional spectrum is out of balance and the Lantern Corps are losing control. Get to Coast City and help Star Labs complete their work on an emotional dampener device. Ah, oh, look, we'll just bring Shiv. What do you reckon? Amadeus, do you reckon that'll do it? We'll just, what? We'll just, we'll just bring Shiv over there, and she can make everybody cry, and that's it. It's all over, over. There it's we go. E it's either that, or you could use her as cannon fodder. Oh, okay. I like, you know. I like the sound of that one best. What? There we go. Wait a minute. <laughs> Shh. 
shush you, shush you. All right, welcome to the oh, Super Zeros, by the way. Potter, Mr. I yeah. die a lot. <laughs> Mr. I die a lot. Here you go, you can see the size of this is four player. The required combat rating is 53, so I just slip in there and suggested dominance is 400. You can see we get ourselves marks of triumph. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's get a ready check from the folks. X, are you ready? Yep. Dracana, are you ready? Yeah. Ready as I'll ever be, and we'll assume that our natural is ready, and because they're wearing nothing at all. So all we need to do here, you can see, is ticket. Let's do that. Yes, tick and Q. So I'm going to click on Q for that. I'm going to select a roll, and that is just not going to be tank. I'm going to be damage only. There we go. Selecting a roll, and you can see up the top here, everyone has chosen their roll. So you can see Dracana is controller. Our natural has the love heart, which means they're healer. And X, what's your roll today? Going to be tank, I hope. Yes, there we go. Tank Tanking for the win, and all we need to do now is hit ready, and there it is. You can enter the Coastal City Alert instance. Now, now before we do that, Shiv, I think behind the scenes that you were going to be getting a like a entry level alert running. Did that happen? We will do as soon as Amadeus selects his role in the on duty, but he might not know how to do it on a controller. Oh. Anyone can help him? Yep, I use a controller. Oh, there you go. It's well, easy. So hang on a minute, you're going to be doing a entry level instance while we're running this one. Which one is it, Shiv? Do you know? Area 51. Oh, good old Area 51. Everyone who's watched the show will know that one. And Jai, if you've watched the show from the early days, which I know you have, do you remember we used to run Area 51 a lot? Do you remember that? Like every other week. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So it shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. All right, well, look, we'll check in with you guys as to how you're going in your first alert, and that's going to be lots of fun. Meantime, we need to oh, enter oh, the instance. Sandal, just before you go, make sure that your gear is well... Um, oh, hang on, repaired. Up repaired. To go. Yeah, I, let's not have a repeat about what happened in Guild Wars 2 previously. Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> the less said about that, the better, as I lost my top. How embarrassing. <coughs> Now, hopefully, there's a repair unit here. We can see we're loading in. And, right oh, here. my Lord. Okay, I'm... Oh, where am I? I'm, hey, help! I'm trapped in some red force field. Help! Help! What's going on? Oh, there's our natural as well. Oh, so it must be okay. What's going on? How come we're inside this force field? Can anyone tell me? To protect us from the mad lanterns outside of it. Oh, okay. Sounds good to me. Thank goodness Star there Lab's is... Goal keep our allies there we go. Star Lab's goal technology. is to help me. Thank you very much. I can repair. You'll be pleased to know, Jai, I'm repairing all right now there we go I'm all done and what can we buy in here soda colas nah, no we don't need any of that you can also sell your junk in here and I've got a couple of pieces that I'm gonna do that with right now there we go some energy mass some torn fabric don't need that there we go sell 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 hey Gray's sports almanac now come on 10 internet points to anyone who can tell me the cultural reference there pop culture reference gray sports almanac as a gray item drop come on anyone Come yeah, on. Back to the Future, well part two. Well done, Mind Blaster. That's exactly where that's from. All right, let me sell it. There we go, because we don't want to bring that back with us, because that would disrupt the space-time continuum, which could, of course, implode the universe. We don't want that to happen. All right, so who is our tank? It is none other than X. X, I'm going to be looking to you here for guidance. What do we do first? I can see that I can return to my last location, or I can enter a teleporter. You'll, you'll enter this teleporter after I go. Right. Um, right. You'll be looking for these uh, mechanical tube light objects that will be transporting to power the emotional dampeners oh. that they've been talking about. Is that why it says... They're all over the place. So it says find parts for the fear capacitors, and I can see, yeah, there's the icon there about dropping stuff back. So it's one of those ones where we pick it up, we get an arrow, and we follow our nose and drop it off at the drop zone. Is that right? Yep. Quick shortcut version would be to throw it towards the direction of oh, what you got to bring it to. Okay, that's Because you idea. get anchored down and you get really slow. You can't fly, you can't run. So okay. just throw it, run to it where it landed, and then rinse and repeat. Sounds great to me. All right, well, after you, if you enter the teleporter, right. we shall follow and wish us luck, folks. All right, everybody into the teleporter. Keep, uh, keep your seatbelts on, limbs in, in the range of the healer at all times. <laughs> Scientists that was a cut were working scene. on the fear capacitors when they were attacked by crazed members of the Sinestro Corps. Find the missing components so that the scientists can finish assembling them. Now that sounded a lot like a very familiar voice, if you ask me. Was that Oracle? Yes. Very cool. I right, like when Oracle is looking over our shoulder. Alright, so I can see we've got a part here, and there's X. Oh no, he didn't 
pick it up. I'm going to pick that up myself and hopefully we'll get a, a big red arrow. And yes, we're going to throw it over there on X. Now, is it best to try and clear these mobs first, X, or do we well, go for the parts? as you've already act interacted with it, it's got a timer on it, so we should probably get it to where it's got to go now. Oh, whoops. Okay, so is that why you left it alone, perhaps? Yeah. Ah, sorry about that. I'm trying that. to move forward. There we go. All right, so we have to go over and pick it up because, yeah, you can see the timer counting down there. So it's probably a best idea, I'd imagine, to I'll clear the mobs. I'll hold you guys run it. Okay, all right. Go, go get him. Here we go. Picking up this piece, leaving my fellow teammates over there. And I'm going to throw it over in that general direction. There we go. Keep going. There's a machine. Okay, keep going and throw it again. Well, you don't have to throw it. You can run it at that part, but oh. I think you got lucky there. Yeah, I did. I threw it into the machine. So there we go, folks. Now, how do we know how many parts that we have to pick up? Because it doesn't actually tell me here. We just keep going it until it says... It does tell you. Oh, there was a voice. It... Oh. Of course, I can't hear half of the voices in the game, sadly. I guess the other way, if you can't hear the voice, would be to keep going until it doesn't say find parts for the fear capacitors, right? That works, too. That works, too. Let's go off to the right over here. There's a couple. Okay, oh, look at all these mobs everywhere. Now this is a very cool area. Cause then, once again, what is this area that we're actually in? Is it like it's a coastal city? So what what city it's is it coast, off? It's coast city. It's uh, akin to uh, I guess Los Angeles in our world. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Now I don't believe we've ever been in here before on the show, have we? No, that's why we selected this one. Is it something you've never done before? looks really cool look at that we've got a cityscape in the background there we've got palm trees here so it is kind of like LA a little bit very cool but lots of destruction here we've got burnt out cars and it looks very very cool looks nothing like it does in area 51 and speaking of which can we get an update from the crew over there what's going on and are you in the instance thank you X yep we're in the instance and already killed the first boss we're on to part two Wow, congratulations, that's some pretty fast progress. Now you can see I made a very cool throw. Drac, you're welcome to pick it up, there we go. And this is like throwing in football, I guess. And you can see my throws are about as good as they would be if I played football, which is terrible. So let's pick this one up again, and you reckon I can just run it in here now? It is annoying, isn't it, that you get grounded? Drac Garner, have you done this instance many times before, or is this something new for you as well? No, I've done it quite a few times. Oh, okay, so you're going to know what's going on. What about you, X? Even though you're tanking here, is this something you've done many, many times? Many times? Um, back in the day, yeah, but I ran it uh, yesterday, the day before, to freshen up. Oh, yeah, that's always a good idea. And I know our natural is not, not on, the, whoops, on the mic, but I'm going to assume, Al, that you've run it multiple times as well. And thank you for those great heals coming in. We do appreciate that. All right, this bad guy. So these people that we're fighting here, the crazed light, what, how, like, they're obviously hard light characters, how calm, like, what's happened to them? Who has made them crazy? Whoops, that was a terrible thing. The machines. Ah, of course, and that's why we're trying to find the parts to basically stop that, and will that effect cease on the hard light folk? Will they turn to normal again? That's the working theory. Yeah, that's the working theory. There you go. Drac, that was a pass to you. You're welcome to pick that one up. Just like playing a footy game, isn't it? It's amazing. And of course, it looks fantastic in here. Now, can we get a, a bit of an update from the team in Area 51? Have there been any deaths yet? Me. Armadeus. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Now, what role are you playing, Armadeus? Healer, unfortunately. Oh dear, that's not a good start. It is tough, I think, Area 51. It really, really is. Jai, what level is your character, please? Oh, level three. Oh, now what level do you have to be? Can anyone tell us? Maybe Mind Blaster if he's still there. What level do you have to be to get into Area 51? Do you remember? I think 10. Is it? Maybe 10? Level 10. All right, so you've got a wee way to go there, Jai. All right, so let me see. X, what are we doing? We're still picking up more parts, are we? Yep, we need two more. Okay, and there they are over in the background there. Let's help clear out these mobs. And, of course, there's a lot of fun in here. Now, Armadeus, you were talking about the repetitive nature, and I think that's the same for any MMO if you play it over and over again. But, look, one of the things I do like discussing for DC Universe Online is the instances and the alerts, because, in my opinion, every single one is very different. Very different mechanics, very different layout, very different scenery, and so I like doing these alerts because of that. I never get bored of them. What is your thought of them? Because you've been playing the game for a while now on console, right? 
do you think they get samey yeah. or do you mind them? Um, on the PS3, I must admit the community is not as friendly as it is on PC. Right. Okay. That's uh, definitely that's something the that, problem. Yep. Oh, yeah. By the way, there's a there's a blue shiny over here. I'm just going to grab this very very quickly. Look, I agree. And apart from the fact that you're in fantastic company here in terms of the Super this Zero, it's about as good as it gets. Uh, you know, the PC is definitely nicer. Spectrum. I've played a little bit you on PS3 as well. I must admit, I don't play it as often as I'd like to. But, you but you're right. The community there is very very different. I mean, who can we ask? Is that? Why would you think that would be so different? Console versus PC. See, if anything, you'd think the PC community would be a lot nastier, wouldn't you? Well, it, it's different for every game, I've found. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if we're talking, X, like, let's take Xbox Live, right? I mean, that's got a community all of its own, and I play on Xbox Live a lot. But, boy, there can be some nasty, nasty folks over there. And I'd understand that. But the PS3, I've never really come across bad players before. So it's interesting for you to hear that. Now, Amadeus, would you be on? the EU PS3 service, I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're kind of locked on the PS3 unless it's changed. No, you're right, it is. And in fact, when I play on PS3, being Australian, that means I'm PAL, the PAL format, as opposed to NTSC. That means I get landlocked to, well, probably your service as well. I'm locked to the PS3 EU service if I play. We maybe have played together before, who knows? No idea. <laughs> okay, there we go. That is another Boss, part. Man. Now what's happening with X? Um, oh, we gotta defend them. The, uh, the machines. Uh, we've well, got one more. Oh, we've got one more. One more? Where's that part? Oh, yes. yeah, we are missing one, yes. Oh. oh. Trying to find it. Can't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, and its timer has nearly run out. What the heck? How did that happen? Let's try that again. Throw, throw, throw. I don't think we're going to make it. No. So what happens we'll if the timer runs out? Um, I've never had that happen. Couldn't tell you. Well, it just respawns. That's what happens. Response. Yeah, Go that's back and get it again. Okay, so no problems. Thank goodness for that. Well, I mean, I must admit, that's what keeps bringing me back is the alerts. You know? Yeah, there um, you go. Because, I mean, like I say, they've definitely put a lot of time and effort into the stories behind it. They're, they do fan service. Every single one is different. Um, I like it. It's not like cut and paste alerts. There's, there's no doubt about it. Here we go. Next update here. Tell the lead Starlab scientist to activate the fear capacitors. Here's Oracle. Destroying the fear capacitors. We need to protect the devices while the Starlab scientists bring them online. Oh, protect the fear capacitors. So that would be these here. Oh, I see. Radio. So we're going to have inbound waves, are we? Yep. Alright. Trying to use my knockback here, which is handy in situations like this, just to keep back waves of enemies. And of course we can see X tell us, even though it's pretty obvious, what is your power set and... Yeah, what's your power set Fire. and your weapon set? Uh, I'm using Brawling right now because it's the most powerful weapon I'm currently in possession of, but I prefer one hand. Right, sure. And your powers? Uh, well, as in my uh, loadout? Yeah, is it fire? Oh, fire, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Fire tank. Good to see. Speaking of which, Drakana, tell us about your character. What's your weapon set uh, and your weapon power set, set today? Weapon set is dual wield. Dual wielding, dual lovely. Pistol, basic, yeah, dual pistols, and I'm a Green Lantern. Yes, that's right. And I love dual wielding pistols. They're so much fun. Of course, my favourite power set is Fight for the Light. Hard light. Good fun. Alright, now can we get an update? Oh, no, actually, we'll wait just a minute because we're nearly on the end of our timer here for protecting these fear generators. Or rather, the fear capacitors. And now we've got to what? Defeat Amon, sir! You're kidding me! Here he is, look at this! What is happening to me? What power is this? Fear is now mine to command as never before! You. you oh will my god, it is crazed Amon, sir! Oh my. Okay, actually, I'm gonna hang back. I went barging on in there. That was probably a bad move. Dear, dear, okay, that's gonna take a while. Look at the hit points on here. Can we get an update from the guys and gals in Area 51? How's it going? We're almost done. Wow! It is quite good. 
fantastic. Now, of course, at your level, is that the only instance that is available to you? Um, no, we have Gorilla's Lab that we might do if we have enough time. I think you should do that. I definitely think you should do that straight away so that we can keep in touch with you guys. Now, here's Armon Sir down to about 66% health. Now, X, is there any special strategy that we need to worry about here? Um, just take down the uh, his hard light constructs if any should show up. Ah, oh, okay. So take down the ads if they're there. Wow, he can certainly take a beating. There's no doubt about that. Let's get a meteor. Go pick that up. Let me pick it up. Some burning hot love there, courtesy of Blaze Purple. You're welcome. All right, down to about 25%. And that's probably due to none of my efforts, but never mind. It definitely looks awfully pretty, there's no doubt about that. There's the constructs. Let's see if we can at least take them down. Do something useful. Whoa, now what's that green aura I've got around me? Whose power set is that? Is that our natural? No. What was that? Oh, Some kind of me. It's yeah. group shielding. Yeah, that was very cool. Was very, very handy. Alright, see. You can get it for yourself as an iconic card. Oh, okay. So that means anyone can have it. Here we go. He is down, and we've got ourselves a whole bunch of marks of triumph. There's some loot. Let's have a look at the loot, and it's submachine pistols of the protector. I'm going to pass on those. But there we go, and he's taken off, and here is Oracle. Converted Star Labs facility. According to my intel, that's where the will capacitor is located. The Green Lantern Corps appear to control the area, but with the emotional spectrum out of whack, don't expect them to be happy to see you. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so the next part of our quest you can see here is to locate Will Capacitor. Now let's have a look at the map here. And you can see this is a fairly large map. Wow. Wow, this is a big one. All right, so do you want to talk me through what's happening next, X? We're going to fight our way through some maddened green lanterns and obtain some explosive charges. Okay, sounds good. Gee, it looks fantastic in here, doesn't it? They've really caught the atmosphere very, very well. Do you know what it reminds me of? This section here reminds me of Half-Life 2 and running through the City 17 along the river. You see those bridges up the top there, the skyscrapers in the background. Very Half-Life 2. And that might just be me. Now, who is looking forward to Half-Life 3? And has anyone got any more news on it? <laughs> no. Big resounding no. I'm definitely looking forward to Half-Life 3 and I wish Gabe over at Valve would hurry up and release it. Oh my lord. Oh right. dear, we have an extra boss. Oh dear. Um, sorry Sambo, but we've just actually finished the alert now. Have you really? We got an extra boss, yeah. babe. Look. Yeah, yeah that's that's the boss that's kicking our butt. There must be explosive that's my fault. <laughs> If you can find them, so you why did this extra boss spawn? Uh, Actually, that, that uh, I believe that was from the uh, DLC uh, Hands of Fate. So uh -huh. either I believe Sita, I think you might have had yep. a, like a yeah, you got a quest that belongs in here. I do. Basically, yeah, that's the only reason why he would pop up. Visitor. Uh huh. Now just a quick update from us that you saw I carried over a package to that wall. I assume that they were explosions, right X? Yeah, it went kaboom, the wall is out of our way, and we may proceed. There we go, and we're going down here into Green some buildings. Oops, here's Oracle. We wrecked the place. If we can get the Star Lab scientist back inside, they can lead you to the capacitor. Start up the teleporters, but now we're careful. done. <laughs> It'll alert the lanterns to our presence down here. That equipment doesn't look too stable, so we won't have much time. Oops, sorry about that. Oracle was talking there. Congratulations, Amadeus. But we're here now. Oh my lord. Use fuses to prime at least one teleporter. So, is this a fuse that we're carrying? Do we... What do we yep. do? Yeah, right over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so oh, yeah. drop them in over here. There we go. Teleporter 1 is primed. Let's not forget that we did actually teleport in here too. Okay, so do we need to do that again? Yes, yes three yep. of them. Three of them. Oh, it's very cool, isn't it? Just a They're completely all over unique the room. scenario. Yeah, really neat. All right, there we go. One. Drop that in there. Oh, and we've got ourselves some friends. Let's 
get rid of this loot here. Smallville heirloom, heirloom blunderbuss. Gosh, it's all about the guns for the loot today. I am unstoppable. Now, by the way, I think we're doing very well so far. Probably nothing to do with me, but there have been no deaths that I can tell so far, Drek Garner. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. There you go. Not even my own death. Of course, all that does is speak volumes for the quality of the team I'm in. Nothing to do with me. Speaking about quality players, Shiv, Armadeus and Co, are you going to run another instance? We're probably going to do Gorilla Island. Uh, Gorilla Island. Good old Gorilla Grod. I love that one. And of course, don't forget to be hunting when you're doing those instances, hunting for shinies. Make sure you're getting your collections all up to date there as well. All right, here we go. I'm going to teleport, to, or rather take this fuse over to the teleporter. Here we go. Hack the generator room console. I'm ready to do that. Let me know when you'd like me. Or do I do it straight away? Yeah, yeah. go okay. for it. Here we go. They mustn't get anyone through. They'll keep coming until we do it. Oh, I didn't think I'd make well, it. well, I've definitely hacked it. Gosh, it looks fantastic in here too, doesn't it? There's uh, another console over by one of the walls. Oh, I was wondering why it wasn't triggering. Thanks. The capacitors. Oh, there it is. Let's go. We'll head on over there. There's Dragana doing their thing. Let's fly right. over there. Oh, here's Oracle. The door system online, but it won't last long without the generator running. We Thank you for the heels. Everybody into the pool. He's trying to run out of here. Gosh, this is lots of fun. Go on, I'll cover you. Uh oh! What is this? Allow me to reinforce the strength of will. Oh my lord! Stop the onslaught of overloaded green lanterns. This instance is just getting more and more interesting. Lots and lots of fun, and of course, it looks an absolute treat. Just reminding you guys too, if you're watching along from home and you haven't yet tried this game, it is completely free to play. That's point number one. And point number two is that it scales very, very well on all levels of hardware in terms of a computer because, of course, it's running on the Unreal oh no. Engine 3. The Here's Oracle. Damaged and we're close to losing it completely. Keep the green lanterns from destroying it. Now, I didn't actually hear what she said there. Did she say Superman? No. Surely not. Did I mishear that, X? Superman's I believe you did. I don't... Yeah, no, Superman's no, got Superman nothing to do with this. No, I didn't think so. Alright, so we're still having to fight back these willful Lantern Rangers, I assume. Yep. Now, Armadeus, speaking of the, how good the game looks and PC versus console, are you playing it right now on PC? Or no, you must be playing it on PC. But what do you think yeah. it looks like compared to the PS3 version? Do you think they're similar? Uh, I'd say they're similar, but the PC has a lot more detail, I'd say. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to get slated for that, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and that's pretty, pretty normal when it comes to console versus PC. Having said that, there's something to be said for playing the game on your big screen TV from the comfort of your couch. It's, I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of graphical fidelity to be able to do that. It's fun too. Um, you're going to hate me for that, but I'm actually doing that on the PC. Oh, are you? Oh, I do hate you very, very much. Very, very much. Of course, that is an option these days. With your controller in hand, of course. Right, here we go, you can see this is definitely an onslaught of overloaded green lanterns. X, is there anything we're meant to be doing here, or we just have to fight through these waves? Just put them down. Okay, putting them down indeed. Oh, big knockbacks there. And of course you can see that lovely healing coming in from our natural and the power coming in from Drake. Oh, and there we go! Bet you can't guess what to do next. Yeah. Fire there we go, up there. All right. Oh. Up to the generator here. Start the generator to reactivate the door. And here we go, a cutscene. The generator is back on and the door system is functional. The capacitor is in the room ahead. But my scan shows something else is in there with it. 
Energy readings are off the charts. I don't know what's in there, but good luck. Thank you, Oracle, for the good luck, and thank you, Dracx, for you pointing out the shiny there up above. I would have missed that completely. <laughs> so thank you very, very much. Two out of five of those. All right, so the door system is back online, and now we're making our way through here. We've got to find capacitor. What's that, X? Is that a person or a... It's like a fuse. Like a fuse, okay. Hmm. But of course, it's never going to be that easy. Of course it's not. I couldn't have What's going on here? Kyle myself. Rayner! There you go, Jai! We have just come up against I Kyle Rayner. I admire your determination, well, but this is quite the artist, where it so ends. it makes him the, one of the more tougher Green Lanterns to go up against. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, yes, thank you. And yeah, ouch! He's throwing big green discs at us. Hey! That's not very nice, Kyle. At you. You hit yeah. him first. Yeah, I go, idiot. Like the idiot I am. Now right, I'm going to go onto the constructs. And there we are. I have a flaming meteorite to the head. Now, once again, Drakana, do you know, is there anything we have to be careful of here with Kyle? Or can we just try and beat up on him? Be careful for when he goes into your shield and just beat on him, basically. Okay. Alright, sounds good. Kyle Rayner is down to about one third health, so we're doing pretty good so far. And you can see there, X has definitely got the aggro as a good tank should. Yeah, mobs don't like it when you give them a burning sensation. No. <laughs> kind of like real life. There we go. <laughs> it looks like his days are numbered. There's an enforcer contract construct. If I could talk here, that looks very, very cool. Reminds there me of was Pacific an Rim. enforcer. There was one there. And here we go, Kyle Rayner on his last legs by the looks of things. You fool yourself. The spectrum is warped. No Star Lab piece of junk will bring it into alignment. I'll see to it. There we go. Congratulations to us and Triblade Katars. Uh, what drops over there. All right, so you can see we've now got to assemble the will capacitor. So I'm guessing X, yeah, there you go. Picking up the parts there that we need for this. Not safe here. Um, our natural can grab one as well. This, far. this city is not safe. And not another sure one there. So taking them over here, constructing this. There we go, Oracle. Way. What's important is that we got the capacitor online. Two down, one more to go. Let's move. All right, this is the tough part. I want you to follow our other flyers in the group over this way. Shave a little combat out of the way. Oh, okay, sounds good. So a bit of a shortcut, is it? Yes, follow them explicitly. All right, you heard the man. We're going to do just that. And stay that. up high. Stay high? Otherwise, they'll pull you down. Okay. I'm acrobat, so i got to take a more perilous route. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, so I can see what's happening. He's trying to run through there, staying as high as possible. And, of course, there's a ceiling on this, a false ceiling. Good luck down below. I'm not going to look... X because that'll mean I oh look at that we've got jet fighters flying across look at that cityscape the broken city in the background there jet aircraft flying the across the top and here's Oracle Ferris aircraft with their rage hate to say it but it might work to our advantage Intel shows that Atrocitus the leader of the Red Lanterns has taken a component from the rage capacitors we need to draw him here so we can take it back call the Red Lantern population when you've quelled enough rage that should get his attention Oh, and look at that. They've led me straight to a shiny. Thanks, guys. Now, this is a very, very cool. It looks amazing around here. We're obviously in some kind of aircraft, of aircraft base or something, are we? What do we have to do now? Uh, put down a ton of red lanterns. This is the part I was telling you about that could get scary. Oh, oh, gee. Thanks for instilling confidence. Now I'm nervous. I'm well, it's only nervous. a sight is there and throws a pickup truck at everybody. <laughs> I like... 
Hey, don't judge me. When you go bowling for lanterns, you enjoy it too. Bowling for lanterns, very funny. Look at that sign up the background there. Ferris Aircraft, so we are at, I guess it's, what is it, the aircraft factory, I suppose, is it? Uh, it's like a testing ground. This is where Jordan is employed. Oh, really? Yeah, they, they test uh, planes there, you know, new planes and stuff. They held Jordan as a test pilot. Very cool. Very, very cool. So there we go for you, Law Buffs, DCUO, or rather DCU Law Buffs. They're obviously sticking to the story there. It looks fantastic. Look at it. That's amazing. So, Kazin, now that we've found out that you collect comics, obviously, as you go into instances like this one here, I mean, obviously you've come across it, I'd imagine, many times in the comics. Do you feel like they've done a great job in terms of capturing the comic book essence of an area such as this, let alone other cities and stuff? But something like this, if you walk in here, is it like, oh my gosh, this is just like being in the comics? Well, as you probably know, the comics have changed a lot over the years, you know, so there's all kind of different versions and things, but I think they did a good job of capturing the essence of it. There you go. Great a lot answer. of a lot of uh, this DCU game seems to be based off of the series 52 weeks. I don't know if anybody ever read the 52 weeks series. Right. A lot of stuff seems centered around that. And of course, the other big thing is that, you know, if you're a Jim Lee fan, and I love Jim Lee, and Tallahassee yeah. is a massive Jim Lee fan, I think, um, who can we speak to? Zazap. Zazap, if you're still there in the voice chats. Zazap, Jim Lee had a very active role in the design of this game, is that right? Uh, yes, I believe you did. Yep. And you can, I think you can see a lot of his influences in the art in the game, and of course, in a lot of the motion comic cutscenes that we get in the game as well. Now, Jai452, if you're still with us there, have you had the pleasure of seeing any of the motion comic cutscenes in the game for yourself yet? I haven't yet, so no, I've seen the starter comic uh, book ones, and I think the first one with Satana, although I'm going to have to redo that one with Garvin if you ever make your <laughs> Super Zeros here. But what do you think? I mean, they're fantastic, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Did you know, and this is a bit of a tip for everyone who's new to the game, if you didn't already know, you can go and actually watch them as a headline, I think it's called, Mind Blaster, 21 November, if you're still there with us, in the voice chat, yep. Is it, it's a headline, is that what they're called? I believe so, I can check really quickly as yes, I... Can. And let us know how you actually get to that too, in terms of which keys you need to press. I go to I for inventory just to get into have the uh, lineup I need. I click on deeds and I click on headlines. Oh, there you go. All right, so very easy to get to. And you can revisit and view all of those motion comics in your own time. I believe that's the case. You yes. can press H. Yeah, everyone too. you've seen, you can view again. Yeah. There you go. All right, and H, you reckon? Here, let me push H right now. Oh, look at that. Hey! How's that? Mind Blaster, we learned something new. You can go straight to your headlines, and there you go, Jai. If you hit H, have you got any listed in there? You should have. Anything you've already seen? It's the big scary world out there. There you go, it is. Oh, here's Atrocitus. Atrocitus, thank you very much. To drain the rage from this place, I will not allow it. Bow before Atrocitus. Wow, okay, they are one mean-looking son of a gun. Oh dear, as we fight amongst these jet fighters here. Gosh, this is very, very cool. So it looks like we have to defeat them. We're going to wait for our tank X to get a little bit of aggro before I start running in like an idiot. There we go. Now, speaking of tanking and speaking of you, X, is there anything special that we need to worry about with this Stay atrocity? out of the red mess he puts on the ground. Ah, so stay out of the fire. Sounds if familiar, he Shiv? picks somebody up and starts throwing him around in circles, block while he's doing it. Okay, well look, I'm just gonna... I'm actually gonna stay flying if I can. That sounds like a good idea to me. Now, Shiv, what are you guys doing? Are you running a second instance? Yeah, we're in Gorillas right now. I don't know how far we are, but... Yeah, that's boss. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. we defeated like three bosses already. Wow, doing very, very well. Now, I hope you've been hunting for artifacts in there too, for the shinies. Because there's plenty of them in there. And especially once you've finished that instance, you can fly around the crashed spaceship, etc., etc., and do a big hunt for them. Great to have. 
All right, so Atrocitus is down to nearly one third health now, so we're doing very, very well. Let's have a look at the map very quickly, and you can see whereabouts we are. It looks to me, X, are we getting near the end of this instance, perhaps? Yep, there's only one more battle after this. One more battle, there we go. And I do love the length of all of the battles here in the alerts in DC Universe Online, because they're just right. They're not too short, and they're not too painfully long either. Enough for a challenge. And he sees down to about 10% health. We're doing very well. And it looks like Atrocitus' days are going to be numbered. And there he goes. He is down. And a whole bunch of marks of triumph. 25 of them. Gosh, can't wait to see how many we have at the end of this. This is going to be great. There's greed on those. There's a couch there as well for the player housing. Seize control of the emotional dampener is what is up next. But before we do that, Jai and Shiv, I just wanted to double check with you that you are aware that there is player housing in DC Universe Online. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. Yep. Good. They both yep. are completely aware of that. Thank goodness for that. So not only, of course, is there fantastic fashion ability in terms of customizing your character, you can also customize your own player base, which is just fantastic. Now, yeah, I think the player housing opens up at like level 12 or something like that. Oh, there I you go. I believe it's 11. Well, look, we covered that off very nicely in a couple of episodes, thanks to the Mighty Super Zeros, of course. Uh, I don't know when that was, maybe five or six episodes ago, maybe even more now, but make sure you go along and have a look at one of them because it explains all of the ins and outs about the player layers. Now, before we go through this door, I did want to check in with our our favorite birthday girl. Whoops, there goes some mobs. Star Lynn. I can see Star Lynn is still in the chat here. Are you still in game at the moment, Star? Yeah, I just ended up mining uh, one more piece of armor. Oh, I was going to say, what are you up to? Well, congratulations there. Does that mean you've got a set, a new set or something? No, I actually uh, was trying to get my combat rating up, but it's still 65. 65. Oh, you're still better than me. You're still better than me. Congratulations. Over here. Oh, oh, and I've found a shiny. Let's grab that, or rather I didn't find it. X, thanks for pointing it out. That's a nice blue one there. That's a briefing. You can see three out of nine. All right, so now what do we need to be doing now, X? Okay, the strategy here is simple. Uh, we're going to fight Atrocitus again. He's not done with us. Oh. Jordan and Amonsor at all at the same time. Uh, but, we're, uh, but there's going to be uh, giant lanterns representing each of them in the area. So what we're going to do is take two of the angry lanterns out of the picture temporarily by activating the, their corresponding colored lanterns, which freaks them out for a little while and makes them immobile while right. we take down the one that's uh, that's not gotcha. uh, been activated. Gotcha. So, but now, after we take down the first one, though, the other two become inactive, so it only works to take one guy down. Okay, so are you going to be dishing out the instructions in terms of which one is which and which one we need to be we need to concentrating uh, on? We we activate the green and yellow ones only. Okay, the green and yellow. I'm going to sit back and watch that because you know I'll mess it up. Speaking of messing up, just quickly, Drakana, you were saying in league chat or party chat there, did we miss a shiny? Did we? Yes, we did. I can show you where it is. Yep, is it too far back or just around the corner? Go far yes. All right, thank you. Thank you. Always like to be able to see where all the shinies are, so you guys watching along from home can collect all of them. And you know, it's a great opportunity to just see how fantastic looking this game is. Look at it, this looks amazing. Oh, look at that, right over there. Gee, that's tucked away in a corner that's hard to find. Great stuff, thank you very much. And I'll just ping my map so you guys can see exactly where I am. There it is. All right, so let's make our way back over. This is Lois Lane just with a past breaking the story Ferris from Coast aircraft. City. The city uh, without the fear there? has experienced yeah, a number of devastating tragedies And listening tragedies to Lois Lane history, in the background, the Hi, Lois. citizens refuse to give in. Even amid reports of nearby Sinestro Corps and alien activity, they will not abandon their city. When a father of two was asked why his family would not leave, he responded with, The Jordans don't run. We believe in the new heroes, and we believe in Green Lantern. We'll have yeah. more as the situation develops. Lois Lane... Daily Planet Live. Thank you, Lois. That's right, the Green Lanterns do not run away. All right, X, well, I am going to position myself behind you because I think that's best, and uh, I'm going to take your lead, so to speak. So one more time for the road. Which colors are... Oh, there they go. There's the big lantern. So which colors are we disabling? Only the green and the yellow. We will not touch the red. OK, 
Okay, all right. So, so I'm going to just gonna sneak behind you. And oh, is that a shiny over there? Over yep, there? down in the corner. It's safe to get. All right, thank you. We'll go grab that straight away. Here we go. Now, Shiv, while I grab the shiny, did you manage to finish? Off Gorilla Grod. Yeah, we did. Now we're looking Ferris, for the blue shiny. Oh, good stuff. Lots of fun. Well, I'm going to pick up one of these pieces Even of scaffolding. There we go. All right, so how do we do this? To like to actually disable one of these things, X, do you walk up to it and we get ourselves a use a icon? Use. Or? Yeah, okay. just like that. Okay. All right, but do we let the tank do that? No, you guys will be doing that. I'll be keeping their attention so they don't bash you in while you're trying to do that. Ah, good idea. All right, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this here because I need all my wits about me. All right, so would you like me to go for the green one or what? which one? You, you can decide. Okay, I'm going to go for green because I like green lanterns. Who? I guess it's Dracani. You're going to go for the yellow one while our natural looks after us in the background in terms of healing, right? Yes. All right, and I'm also guessing that X, you're going to run in and grab their attention first, and then we're going to attempt to disable these lanterns, right? And then once they're once they're disabled, you focus your attention on taking down Atrocitus until the shields come down, and then you rinse and repeat. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. Well, I think I'm about as ready as I'm ever going to be. So X, it's totally up to you. Going in. All right. Let's watch him. There he goes. Yes. And we've got ourselves a cutscene. Fight on, you fools! Let the rage of battle consume you, and I shall absorb its power. Release your fear to me. The light grows. It bends only to me. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, there we go. You can see we've got the... Oh! There goes some um, weapons, some hard like construct weapons. And here we go. We're going to use this. All right, so that has been activated now, and we wish to... What do we do now? Beat up on Ammon uh, Atrocitus? Atrocitus. Put go. it all see. down on it. All right, and how do we know when we need to go and reapply this? Is it when there's shields that are holding... Yeah, the shields will drop. Oh, ouch. Big knockbacks there. Yeah, lanterns are fond of that. Aren't they just... Now, do we take down these little ads, I guess, in the meantime? If you can. Yep. Now, this is what we were talking about before with Armadeus, about keeping things fresh and different. I have not I have not seen this mechanic in any other alert, and like I say, they tend to be unique. There we go, and our natural has activated the green one again. Thank you very much for that. And the yellow one as well has been done. So, Atrocitus looks like he's nearly down. So I like ones where we have to juggle things like this and really keep an eye on what's going on around us. It makes things much more fun. Taking out these ads as well. Now what happens when Atrocitus gets to zero I'm health? Armand still becomes our target. Ah, right, okay. And which colour is he? The yellow or the green? Yes. Yellow. Yes. So we still want to activate the green... Oh no, wait a minute. Uh, the no, they've all, gone. they've all gone. It only works to take down one. Right, okay. They don't want to make it too easy on us. No, obviously not. Hey, Sambo. Yes, Shiv? Do you have a leash I can borrow? A leash? Oh, my. Yes, because I had to spend five minutes trying to get Amadeus to a blue shiny, and he kept going everywhere but the blue shiny. You got a leash. <laughs> that, you know what? That sounds like me looking for blue shinies. Seriously. You don't want to know how long it takes me to find them. Here we go. Now, we're still beating up on Amon, sir. Is that who we need yep. to take down? Yep. Powering my fiery weapon there. And you can see, of course, in the background, look at my health is terrible. So that means that our natural has a very challenging job to try and keep me alive. He's constantly healing me. Power is constantly streaming in as well from Drakgarn. A great team we got here, of course, led by our mighty tank X there, which is good. And Amon Sir is down to just below 50% now. Kazin, so far there have been no deaths. Are you surprised, sir? Maybe a little, but if he got past the Red Lanterns, then uh, you're doing pretty good. Yeah, there you go. And of course, again, it speaks volumes for my team rather than any skill of mine. I don't believe that. That's a lie. <laughs> yeah, totally. I, I just you haven't been around been for a while, have you? <laughs> yeah. You will come to learn very quickly just how amazingly awful I am at DC Universe Online. Speaking of awful, 
crazed Amon Sir must be feeling just that right about now. He's down to approximately 10% health. We're doing it very, very well here. And oh, look at those big hits. Thank God for our Naturals healing, because that basically stripped me back to zero in one hit. Thank you, our Naturals. All right, so Can Amon I just Sir, ask, uh, yeah? how, can I ask the team that you with, how much did Sambal actually pay you to actually say that he didn't die? <laughs> just out of curiosity. <laughs> That is not true at all. Not true at all. And of course, you've all got it captured. Video evidence of that. Here we go. Final boss here, I assume, is Kyle Rayner. Heartbreaking to have to beat up on him, but of course, we've got no choice right about now. And here it goes. You mean captures and edited by you video? Uh, shush you. Shush you. <laughs> not supposed to give the secret away. <laughs> go and he's down to below 50% probably down to about 30% health now we're doing very very well as Kyle I think ex Kyle Rayner looks like the easiest one to take down or rather he's dropping the fastest is that just my well, we'll keep the only target now oh yeah of course there we go it is nearly over over Look at this, he's down to a sliver of health. Incredible 24, 25 hit combo, and there we go, we got ourselves a comic that looks like it is all over. All I wanted to be was a pup. Like my dad. That was my dream. Even when it was a nightmare. That was when I first learned about fear. But if you let fear win, even once, it'll have you by the short hairs for the rest of your life. And you can't be afraid of what life might hand you. So you stand tall, grit your teeth, and fight your fears by sheer force of will. You shine the light into the dark corners where fear likes to hide and you defeat your fears one by one with a ring or without one beware my power green lantern's light and there we go speaking of great great motion comics that was one there headline complete the city without fear and of course it's a great message buried in there not just for superheroes but for all of us daily completed daily bonus has been earned as well there you go you can see the damage out the healing out and the power out for each of our wonderful party members here x drac and our natural as well and even me i actually have some damage on the board there amazing there even a little bit of healing don't know how that quite happened but there we go we are done let's have a look and see what the loot is here and i'm not sure if it's going to be all oh, okay so so we've got ourselves a thing called Last Right, which is a two-handed weapon. So congratulations to whoever gets that. We've got ourselves a focusing element. We'll greed on that. And plans for a vitamin soda Mark III. We shall greed on that as well. And it looks like Drac, congratulations. You won that one there. So that is it, folks. That is amazing. That was a really, really fun instance. So X is our lead tank. How do you feel that went? Oh, didn't actually when I think a little smoother than when I did the practice run the other day. Oh, there you go. There you go. And of course, that is due to our support here from the entire team. We've got Drake, of course, X and our natural. Thank you all. In fact, you all deserve a hearty salute there from Blaze Purple. We managed to get through that with no deaths and that was a whole bunch of fun. So I can definitely recommend you guys watching along from home if you're able to have the combat rating necessary to get in here and you've got the Fight for the Light DLC. Absolutely recommend in running this it is a whole bunch of fun not too frustrating but it is definitely a challenge as well look what we'll do folks is we'll go back to the watchtower and hopefully meet up with the rest of the mighty super zeros who will hopefully give us a hero's welcome we'll go back there and sign off the show with them we'll be right back and welcome back folks here we are in the owl owl did out shiv will you please stop shooting <laughs> in the head you, can, you know you're making <laughs> holes in my head guys. you can see i'm not a bad guy seriously yeah, so. you Amadeus, can you do anything about the, no you're adding to it as well oh dear, oh dear what have we done letting these guys into the league there's mind blaster mind blaster is there anything you can do about this i might <laughs> 
don't, you don't want to add to the, you're not going to attack me as well, are you? I hope not. By the way, Mind Blaster, tell us about your outfit today. We didn't get to see you in the beginning of the show. Are you rocking a bit of Wonder Woman? Oh, always. Always. My normal costume. Yeah, it looks fantastic. You Go on, you beat up on Shiveria for me. Thank you very, very much. Crazy times here, of course, as always, in the Super Zeros. Just reminding you guys, if you would like to join us on the Mighty Super Zeros, all you need to do is have a look in the description below this video. You'll find a link to the Super Zeros community website, which is superzeros.engine.com. Head along there, make sure you apply. Click on the Applications button there, and, of course, that will submit an application to the offices of the Super Zero, and you'll get instructions instructions from there but of course Jai you're new you've had a new starter experience here to the mighty super zeros can I get you to tell us honestly what's it like what are these guys like were they welcoming or are they all nasty and horrible oh, very welcoming very I'm not sure about that sample in Zedgo <laughs> Check, he's checks, checks in the mail. <laughs> the checks in the mail. I don't know who you're talking about with that Sambo person either. I've heard he's a right nasty folk. I don't know. I think that he can't be as nasty as the person that's shooting me in the face right about now. Shiv, did you have fun today? I had lots of fun. Lots well, of fun of shooting you. Yeah, obviously you're still having lots of fun there. And of course, again, I'd like to thank Drakana and everyone who joined us. Our Natural and X for joining us in that alert and helping us get through there. That was a whole bunch of fun. And once again, folks, that was the Central Coast. No, what was it called? Kazin? Coast exactly. City. Coast, Coast City. City. I keep getting that mixed up with Central City, which is, of course, the other area that we've been in many, many times with the... What's that? The Flash, isn't it? Yes, I did that too, Sambo, to be honest. Yeah, it's really hard, isn't it? CC, what are you talking about? Is it is it Central City or is it the Coast City? Oh, my God. Anyway, that was a whole bunch of fun, so thank you to everyone who helped organise that. And once again, thanks to Chilma in the background for organising these events as well. We very much appreciate that. What else we appreciate is everyone's time that they give up at crazy hours to come and join us here to film these episodes, both in-game. A big thank you and salute to everyone here in-game with us now and everyone in the Mumbles. And that, of course, is 21 November, a.k.a. Mind Blast. We've got Amadeus Lightheart. We've got BVS. We've got Kappa187, Copycat J. We've got Cousin Charlie D. Hello to you there. We've got Doctor Sun. We've got Dragon Knight. Jai452. Always great to see you there. Cameron1000. Quozy. We've got Master Kev. We've got that nasty woman. Shiveria Moonrunner. We've got Sight of the Last Vampire. We've got the Birthday Girl and Love of My Life, Stalin. We've got Zazap. And, of course, not forgetting Kazin as as well my thanks to all of you guys for coming along and joining us we are way out of time don't forget to come and join us in two weeks time when the lord only knows what shenanigans we'll get up to here in dc universe online in between there you can catch us in our wow episode where we're grinding for the netherwing rep so it's going to be a whole bunch of fun as well but in the meantime on behalf of myself sambo blaze purple here and everyone who's joined us from the mighty super zero it's us saying take care hope you guys are having a great week wherever you are in the world we do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and Bye-bye. 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 Bad times, bad channel. We've got that nasty woman, Shiveria Moon Rubber. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, everyone's going to stick. Now we're going to stick.